What's up guys, it's ProScriptor363 here, and today I'm bringing you the last update to the Slither Hack. It's version 1.3, and it's going to come with a new user interface and Google Chrome extension capabilities. So I'm going to show you how to install it in Google Chrome as an extension, and I also want to thank you guys so much for helping me get to 1,000 subscriber mark. This video is going to be actually a tribute to reaching that mark. Uh, other than that, uh, thank you guys so much, and let's get started on the video. I'm going to go ahead and open this file called slither.txt to show you the link that you're going to be pressing to get the hack and make sure that it's the exact same link I'm not gonna post anything different in the description but it's gonna be there and I'm gonna know I'm gonna have some people saying it's gonna give you a virus but it's not just make sure you do everything and follow every step I'm about to do so you go ahead and paste the link in your uh, URL but instead in the description you'll just be able to click it if you have ad blockers it might cause some uh, difficulties and as I'll show you right here just keep pressing continue and X out of this screen that pops up keep pressing continue and make sure you only press skip ad up in the top right corner if you press anything else on this page you're probably gonna get adware and that's not gonna be my fault that's gonna be your fault just press skip ad okay all right now you're gonna be taken to my Dropbox make sure it's my Dropbox and the zip file says uh, hack version 1.3 download that I'm going to go ahead and go download that real quick. I'm going to show it in a folder. I'm going to just drag it over to my desktop real quick. And I'm going to run a security scan after I extract the files. So let's extract these files. and no threats detected. If you guys get a virus, it's you downloaded something else wrong. And uh, it's not gonna be my fault, this is completely virus free. That being said, if you did not want to actually download this file, you can still get hacked version 1.2 and just copy and paste the code like before. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is open up Chrome settings, go over to extensions, and I'm gonna go ahead and reset this Slither mod so it looks like how it's gonna look on your screen. So I'm just gonna go delete that what you want to press is load unpacked extension look for chrome extension on your desktop and go ahead and click ok after you clicked ok it should be uh, disabled what you want to go ahead and do is click uh, enable developer mode and enable the mod so after you enable the mod now we can go to slither.io and see that it has been added to our uh, extensions up there at the top right all right, after we go to slither.io.com, now we can just go ahead and enable the hack up at the top and press hack enabled. And you want to go ahead and refresh the page. As you can see, there's a new uh, user interface and if you want to disable it, you can refresh the page again and completely gone. Hack enabled again and refresh the page and we'll get started on this hack. Off the bat, you can see this is a completely new interface and I just wanted to leave a quick note right here saying that uh, if I wouldn't receive any more donations that I would not be able to make these mods free anymore but as you guys can see that uh, all the same hotkeys and everything from hack version 1.2 are still there it's all just implemented in a new interface we got a new servers tab which will go ahead and let you see every single server that you can join you can go ahead and type in a custom server and join that just by clicking on it or you can just uh, press play and then you'll start the game regularly so here we have the options tab where you can choose the graphics and right here we have a choice to enable zoom while using the menu we also have uh, some information right here that basically says that invisibility is just client-sided instant mass is just a button that is used for fun and that god mode is just a complex collision detection algorithm that is just actually just useful for helping with it, avoiding snakes, but it's not 100%. So that is my disclaimer right there. I think you can perfect this algorithm. Go ahead and message me right here. This is how your screen is going to look as a returning subscriber. Go ahead and press send message and you'll be able to message me right there. It's actually a really complex algorithm, but if you know a lot of code and you think you can go ahead and perfect that, just go ahead and message me right there. Other than that, let's go ahead and uh, start the game go ahead and run through some of the commands just showing you that they're all still there we got invisibility right here we've still got speed hack we still have god mode working and visual debugging 
as you can see right here. I just have to find a snake real quick. Show you guys. Any minute now. Anyways, uh, you can turn up your collision detection. See how you can just bump right off there. You can bump right off there. I'm not even moving my mouse here. You can also zoom in while the menu is open. There you are. And uh, the cool thing about this menu is you can use it anytime. You can hide it away. You can also change whatever options you would like to change in the option bar just while you're playing the game. So I'm going to go ahead and show the menu again and go through the rest of these commands. I believe we still have uh, some skin changing commands that we can go through. I added uh, some more skins. So I believe it goes all the way up to the end of the skins with the fuzzy ball. I don't even know what it is. Uh, yep, yeah, just scroll through all those skins. You got Google Play, some Canada skins, stars. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't played this game in a while. So uh, we still have that. We got uh, the respawn feature. Uh, as you can see, just keep respawning right here. As many times as you want. It makes it go a little bit faster. We've got the transfer server, which will show you your IP address right in the server bar right here. <sighs> if you want to join any friends or anything like that. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, we also have save zoom. So save zoom is going to allow you to save your zoom at the current spot. Because if you've recognized some of these zoom features on some of the other mods, it actually zooms slowly back in. But if you press G, enabling yourself to save zoom, it will actually stay at that zoom for the rest of the game. Which is pretty cool because I hate always having to zoom in and out. And that's just a personal preference, but you can always enable that just to, just to show that that's there. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please return the favor and subscribe and leave a like down below. Help me out. And I hope you all enjoy the hack. This is Proscriptor363, signing out.